Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Bullock here. Uh, this uh, stat lesson is on adding categorical variables to your scatter plots. So it's another fast, easy one. Let's take care of this board problem here. Below are the team-by-team -team stats on home runs hit through Friday, uh, June 3rd of 1994, baseball season. Okay, so you got the American Leagues uh, on home runs and the National Leagues. Okay, so it says the median number, which is the middle, Okay, I've already counted them up. There's 14 on that side. There's 14 on that side. So you count in to, to the number 7 and 8 to find your median. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the median is 57, 58. So it's 57.5. Okay, the median over here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, it's asked for the median on the American League. Okay, and definitely uh, the American League is smaller than the National League. So well, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 48 to 53 would be the median on those guys. So the answer is E. The median uh, uh, on, the, on the American League is uh, 57.5. The average of 57 or 58. All right, made it longer than it needed to be. Sorry. Adding categorical variables to your scatter plots. Let's go. So does the South have a different SAT score? So... So when you want to add a new category to your scatter plots, you can add different plotting points. And your TIs have these also. Uh, you can do a plus sign or an open circle or a closed circle or whatever. So if you're doing it by hand, you can do whatever. You can do check marks, whatever. Uh, so remember the graph of the SAT versus the percent of seniors that took the SAT in the last le lesson? So let's refer, refer back to that. It's on page 124. So here it is right here. So remember, as the... The higher percentage of the states took taking the SATs, uh, the percentage in the states taking the SATs, the actual lower the scores get right here. So let's go ahead and add, um, uh, let's add the south, and we're going to highlight the south by plus signs. So here I have the old one right here, and here's the new one with the south. Do you see all those plus signs right there? In fact, I can I can get it bigger, and we can take a look at that. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Yeah, good. All right, so there it is right there. So there, it's the same scatter plot, except uh, we just uh, highlighted the south with all the plus signs right there. I don't know why they chose the south. Maybe the south scores a little bit lower. That's why they cho uh, chose that. Okay, then they put that up here that the plus sign equals the southern states and the, and the regular dot is just all the other states right here. Okay, percent of graduates taking the test and the state average SAT mass scores. All right. Okay, so uh, do solar panels reduce gas usage? So here, our third variable becomes solar panels, so creating a before and after effect. So here we go. So uh, the before effect comes from example 3.4 on pages 127 and 128, and it's the Sanchez family. Okay, so the Sanchez household is about to install solar panels to reduce the cost of heating their house. In order to know how much the solar panels help, they re uh, record their consumption of natural gas before the panels are installed. Gas consumption is higher in the colder weather, so the relationship between outside temperature and gas consumption is important. So this uh, table 3.1 gives data for 16 months. Uh, the response variable Y is the average amount of natural gas consumed each day during the month in hundreds of cubic feet. The explanatory variable X is the average number of heating, sorry school just got out, the average number of heating degree days each day during the month. So a heating degree day are the usual measure of demands for heating. One degree day is accumulated for each degree a day's average temperature falls below 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So, an so for example, an average temperature of 20 degrees, uh, if it was 20 degrees, that is 45 degrees below 65, so it would be called a 45 degree day. So the bigger the degree day, the bigger this number is, the colder it is. Because it's, it's say, say I had a, a 50 degree day, that would mean it would be 15 degrees outside because it's that many degrees below. Okay, so here's uh, the table right here. Don't worry about this. This is that stuff we just read right there. Okay, so the average degree day of natural gas consumption for this household fa uh, family. Now here's the degree days and here's the gas that they use. Remember, the bigger the degree day, the actual colder it is. So here's a really cold day right here, and that's how much uh, gas that they use. It's one of the bigger cold days right there. So so here's a graph of this, of the, the average number of heating degree days. Okay, remember this is below how many degrees below 65, and this is the average amount of gas consumption per day in the hundreds of cubic feet. So notice as the degree day increases, so does the gas consumption. That also increases. This is a very strong 
uh, positive association, by the way, although I don't have that. Okay, so now we're going to add uh, solar panels and the measure of their gas consumption for 23 more months and plot that data against the original data. So here it is. Okay, I don't have a table that where they got that information, but see, here's the the, uh, the solar panels right here. Okay, so the colder it gets, um, uh, you know, it is less. It's not as much less as I thought it was going to be. I don't know, you know, what some variables, it might, you know, and over here, nothing really happened. Well, over here, right here, you guys, <clears throat> when it's, um, you know, this is at zero degrees. That's actually, I'm sorry, zero degree days. That's actually 65 degrees. You're not going to use much gas to heat up the house when it's nice and warm inside. So that's why these are all the same down here. But as the colder it gets, you guys, um, uh, I was kind of hoping that the solar panels would save a lot more uh, gas consumption, but they're not. And there's probably some other explanations that we'll talk about in class. All right, so there's the two graphs uh, side by side. And if you're in my stat class, that would be your homework assignment. Take care.